This video is how to replace your belt for the Cricut Explorer Air 2. Uh, it may work for other models, I'm not sure, but I know it works for this one. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your belt. You're also going to need a small screwdriver like so. Um, it's a very mini one versus a normal screwdriver you're going to need. Um, I don't know exactly number two or whatever it is, but um, you also will need a box wrench or some sort of pliers I use. Um, in another video, you might have seen I used a drill um, or a screw gun that works as well. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to see the belt here and you want to replace that. So you're going to flip it over. Now, a um, couple things to note before I start. Uh, you'll notice some of these screws are out. I had this machine apart. I'm just going through this as quick as I can. Feel free to fast forward or pause um, as needed. Uh, another thing I wanted to note was the belt itself. This is a belt. You'll see a link in the description for this belt that you can purchase on eBay. Um, uh, it's there. There's some information out there on another video I noticed that will point you to a belt on Amazon. I do not recommend that belt. You will have troubles. First off, it does not have these ends. You will have to find a way to figure out how to fix it on. Um, as well as the teeth, it is not the correct belt. So I do not recommend that. Um, aside from that... Uh, I've spent quite a few hours, uh, as you can see on this channel, trying to get you guys free information, um, which I think is valuable. And I know I had uh, one donation, so if you were the one donator, um, thank you for that. These screws I took out, you don't need to take those out unless you're going to get the bottom off, but you do need to take those two as well as those two off. So... Yeah, I already got two of them off. So this one comes out. And then there would be another one, like I said, there. And there, you don't have to take those out for the belt change. I'm just showing you specifically what you need to take out only for the belt. So now you got those four off. You're going to flip it up your small screwdriver and you're going to see in the back there, there are two screws. It's kind of hard to see on this, but um, there's one there and one there. You're going to take those off. Once you get those off, you can pull this cover right out. There's the screw holes there. Uh, then from there, you're going to want to take this off, this piece. Now it pushes upward and it's locked in. It's a little bit tough to get out, but you got to use some pressure. It helps if you fold this down a little bit. Once you fold it down, then it'll help to get it up. So I only have one side latched, but essentially this side would be latched too. You pop it up, and then I'm going to go a little bit further down just to get it out here. And it's going to come out. I'll show you what that looks like. You got it right there, locks in and locks in there. Same thing with the other side, like that. And it goes on to those little clips over there. So you got that piece off. So you got those three screws here. I took them out already, but there's one, two, and this is the hidden one that you couldn't see with that plastic piece on. Um, now you're going to go to the other side, and you're going to see the same thing. Um, two, one up there, one down there, and then there's one way back inside there. Um, once you get those off, then you can start taking your, um, sides off. Now, before you go gung-ho and rip these things off, be careful because they are still attached. I'll show you what I mean. Take it off a little bit. There's a ribbon cable there. That one comes off real easily. All you do is, let me get a better angle for you. I just pluck it off like that. 
Okay, so that's connected to there. That comes off, and you're good there. This one's a little bit trickier, not much trickier, but you're going to be more, it's definitely more delicate. Um, you're going to take it off a little bit, and you're going to see this ribbon cable there. Now, you're going to want to probably get this tape off. I already got it off, but it should have been connected there. That gives it a little bit more room so you can set it down. And then you're going to pop this little black thing back towards you. And then this should pop right out like that. So then you have your other side off. Now you're, you're really close to being done um, with getting it off. Now what you want to do is you see that little tensioner mechanism right here? You're going to loosen that. And this is the part where you may need, I already loosened it, but you may need a wrench to get that nut free or possibly a screw gun um, or something that, or like I said, that wrench that I had in the beginning, something like that because it's on there pretty tight. And there's a reason it's on there pretty tight. It should be tight. Um, so once you get it loose enough, you want to get it really loose, then you're going to go inside here. I'll get you a better view of what this looks like, but for now, I'll show you. It's on there. You got to weasel it off, push inward. So this thing on both sides, on the back there and the back of the belt there, you're going to push them both inward one at a time. So you push it inward, then it comes off right there like that. Now that other one's going to be easy. You're just going to string it, string it through all the way there, and then string it through here, and string it through there. And then now this part, you already got loose enough, it kind of just comes right off. But I'll show you what that mechanism looks like. So then you can see what you're dealing with to get your belt all the way off. Now, now you got the belt off. Congratulations. Uh, here's what that mechanism looks like. Um, so it's a little bit taken apart. See the belt is connected onto that little, little circle thing there and that circle thing there. So essentially one end goes through there and clicks on to there, which that's what you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need to get the belt back on. You're going to string it through this like so, and then make sure the teeth are facing towards the back of the machine. And then you're going to string it through each side. I guess you can line up the teeth once you get it through through each side. Um, so yeah, you don't need to take the carriage off. If this is too hard with the carriage on, you might want to, but I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend it. So now I'll show you what this other side looks like so you can see here what we're dealing with. Um, right down in there. So it's got to go around on that gear, um, which I have heard on occasion these gears failing. So if you have a failed failing gear, I do have a couple of them left. Um, let me know. I'm happy to help where, when and where I can. Um, so now you got that side through and then you got to get this side through you got to get this part on there and we go through there and back through there and through here and then get it on there like that okay it's gonna be loose at first um, so you're gonna kind of want to hold that with with your hand if it doesn't stay and find the best way to get one of those clips in like I said it's you know just on there on those clips there um, and then 
you got to somehow get the other one on there. If you've gotten this far, you should pretty much be able to figure it out and reverse what you did. But for the sake of doing it, I just did it. So now you got it on. So then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and tighten your tighten this bolt there. Get it nice and tight. Um, you don't want to get it too tight, but it should be set. If you can leave the nut close to where it was, it should be pretty close. You can watch my other video for the Cricut Maker belt. Um, that one has kind of the sound it should make. Um, just get it nice and tight so it doesn't slip. If it's too loose, this carriage is going to run into the side here and keep going. Dur -dur 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 -dur. So then you know it's too loose. Um, so yeah, once you get it back on, then you're going to take and uh, put all your things back on, you know, put your, put your side covers on, um, both the side covers, and then put your backing plate on, this guy, and then put your cover on there, and then put the bolts in the bottom, or the screws in the bottom, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Uh, please let me know in the comments if there's something you didn't understand. Um, also make sure to plug in your two electrical connectors. Um, feel, free, feel free to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, and like I said, there's a link in the description for the belts should you need a belt for your Cricut Explorer 2. I do not work for Cricut. I do not have any sort of affiliation with Cricut um, other than trying to help the users that they have failed on. So um, I hope it helps. Uh, take care. Thanks for watching.